So I finished the final episode. This is um, about half an hour after the video I made saying I predicted the future. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's a pretty good episode. Uh, and at the end, Diggle becomes a Green Lantern, hopefully. He, he opened up a box, and it had a green light in it. And the box came from space. Like, just try and tell me this on a Green Lantern ring. <laughs> like, actually, actually, just imagine the extended version of the scene. He opens up, and he's like, Why is there a glow-in-the-dark pearl? Yeet! Stupid space. But no, I want to see Diggle in that Green Lantern show, even if it's only for the first few episodes. I need to get a job before I can pay for HBO Max, though. Unless it's on DC Universe as well. But I doubt it. So, um... Yeah, this show... Great. And Supergirl and, um... Flash actually show up in the episode. I thought this episode was going to be a kind of boring, but, you know, poignant episode. This episode was action-packed when it needed to be. Um... If you're just watching because you're like, oh, this show looks pretty good on Crisis, or during Crisis, uh, maybe I should go watch the next episodes. I mean, don't, because it's kind of boring at the end. Um, you know, there's no action or anything. But there shouldn't be. Um, so... Just testing something. Um, but there's no, there doesn't need to be any action at the end. That's, you know. Uh, but this episode has no value to you, to you, if you haven't watched the rest of the show. Uh, well, you don't even need to watch the rest of it, but you watch season one, season two, season three, you know, maybe parts of four, parts of five, parts of six, uh, most of seven, and the rest of eight. And you feel yourself in on some of the crossovers, and this episode's great. You can't watch this without having the prior knowledge of the rest of the show. Um, so apparently Oliver and Felicity are dead, which is what I thought. But they're somewhere. I guess they're in the afterlife? I thought it would have been the paradise dimension, but... And it could still be. But uh, the thing is, you can escape the paradise dimension. Everyone else is... And, and you can't... You don't go there when you die. That's the other thing. People, Some people say, oh, it's where you go when you die. But that's just not true. Pariah brought um, Superboy Prime and the other Superman to the Paradise Dimension in the Crisis comic. But, or at least I think it was Pariah. Um, I haven't read the comic in a while. But that's not... Wait a second. So the monitor is dead, right? How did he send them? To, how did he send Felicity to Oliver? Unless the anti-monitor decided to be nice, but that also doesn't make any sense because he's dead. Questions. But then again, uh, he was supposed to have died during the time travel uh, thing. Very great. So I'm confused. Did the, is this the monitor from like Arrow season uh, seven, who's just like so? So I'm going to go ahead and do this because I don't think I'm going to be able to do this. Um, but I mean, yeah. Um, the Paradise Dimension you can escape from. Superboy Prime is the only one who's escaped from it. But, you know, pretty sure the other Superman died in there. Ooh. <laughs> um, and it's not heaven. It's, it's not... Valhalla or whatever. I'm gonna stop right there. I'm gonna offend someone even though I don't intend to. Um, but it's just another dimension where reality bends around it. It's called Paradise Dimension because it's whatever you want it to be. Superboy Prime basically just made a door and then he punched the door in. Punch, thus punching reality. If you guys remember that. They brought Jason Todd back and shit. Um... You're basically living in reality. But like inside, deep inside reality. 
I'm not sure if I'm making this any more clear. I'm probably just confusing the, sh the blah, 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 confusing the crap out of you. But um, yeah, this episode was great. Uh, the ending is really confusing, but I think I'll get to that. I just had to say the Green Lantern thing earlier. Um, so but let's try to do this chronologically speaking. So it starts off with a chilling speech, and then we see Slade versus uh, Oliver. But Oliver gets the upper hand this time. I wonder if Oliver just, like, wrote in the script what happened. Because I don't know how this worked. Like, Oliver was sort of just... Did he have to do all of that all over again? Or was he able to just, like, tap into the source code? Because that's him doing all of it. I mean, at least it's his body and his mind I, i'm confused the same thing happened the same thing confused me during x-men days of future past i tried explaining this to my dad but he he or i tried asking this question to my dad i was like so how does this work and he's like what are you talking about but at the end of days of future past wolverine's like so charles xavier who uh you know he's like don't you have a class to teach meaning that his body that he was doing all these things, but he doesn't remember it, so I'm confused. Like, Wolverine's like, well, my history is a bit different than yours. And he's like, Logan, you're back. So, like, who's been in control of his body this whole time? Why doesn't he remember if he was doing it? This is the same thing here. Is Oliver, did he beat Deathstroke, or did he... Just change history. Also, I was really hoping for another Slade appearance, but whatever. I guess I would have probably derailed the entire episode. Just Slades at the end, just like... You know, you know his, um... His, uh... You know how you do, um... Ba um stage transitions in Injustice? Slade just gets ready to do his, um... Uh... Ba uh, like back A his um bounce attack and that and then it cuts to black that would probably would have derailed the entire thing like ooh Slade also they probably wouldn't let it happen <laughs> but um I just love like when it was like so there's a reality where I died um also Slade didn't show up at the funeral I mean, I guess he tried to kill his mother. So maybe showing up at the funeral was not the best call. Well, he tried to kill everyone, actually. But now I'm just confused. Like, what parts are canon and what parts aren't? Because now I'm watching season... I'm on season three. Uh, and I, I was recently on season two. So I'm just like... Well, none of this matters. To, yeah, to enjoy it, you still need to watch those seasons. It doesn't fill in the blanks or anything. And that is important. For a plethora of reasons. But. It's like. And does that mean the flash forwards from season 7 are canon? Because we see Felicity. With Oliver. I'm confused. Just tell me what parts are canon, damn it. Um. That was obviously an overreaction. Um. But I'm just. Just saying. I'm, I'm just I'm confused, okay? That's what it is. I'm confused. I don't understand what's going on, and I'm confused. And when I'm confused, I get pissed off. Like, I don't yell at people. I hold it inside. But there was this one dude at Goodwill who, he was asking me so many different things. And he's like, so do you have ropes? Um, and with, like, sturdy wooden chairs? Um, and I'm like, no, we don't have any of that. So he's like, what about an electric cable? Or like, what about car jump starters? And I was like, actually, we're not allowed to carry those. Um, and then he's like, oh, okay. Uh, well, what about, um, what was the other one? Can't remember what the other one was. Uh, buzzsaw, I think. Um, he was like, for like cutting wood. And first of all, I was just like, What are you doing? Why do you need these so bad? And he's just like, well, can you go check? And he's like, 
So, you know, I'm just doing that. And he's just running around the store. And then he's like, oh, I need to, and my, I, I, my, I was having like some weird mental conflict. And so I was trying to go in like three different places at once. And it actually kind of hurt my brain and then hurt me. Just, I started hurting all over when he said that. And I was going to cuss him out. But then, Miss <laughs> L um, called me back and I was like, um, so, anyways, um, I'm pissed off, don't confuse me, um, but yeah, so we see Slade, um, we see how everyone's holding up, uh, apparently crime just cannot happen in Star City, I'm not really sure how it works because we're seeing crimes being committed, but everyone's like, uh, nope, the city's gonna be safe forever. Ain't no terrorist in the world gonna be able to stop us. You know, and I was just so confused. I don't know why everything's so peaceful in that city. I mean, freaking Dinah is just all... Okay, I have so many more questions, but I can't, I don't have time for them in the video. But Dinah's all like, well, I'm moving to Metropolis. I'm going to go protect that place. Um, no point in trying to protect a city that can't be harmed. And I'm just like, why, why are you so sure of this? And also in the future, William gets ca captured apparently. Like, way to ruin the good moment. You just have to drop a bomb on me like that. I'm so confused, by the way, because Green Arrow and the Canaries chronologically doesn't seem to line up with... Um, this episode. I have so many questions. She's suddenly reminded of everything. But this is after. And now. Um, we go back to before. And she already knows everything. I'm just. I'm confused. My mind's trying to wrap itself around. <clears throat> around things. And it just can't. My mind was not. I'm good at mental gymnastics, but I'm taking it. My brain is just. I mean, I did a Marvel vs. Capcom timeline video, I think. Did I ever actually finish that? I was doing all sorts of freaking mental gymnastics trying to connect the Punisher to Marvel vs. Capcom, then to Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. Ugh, the mental gymnastics, they, they physically hurt. Um. <laughs> Anyways, back on the video, because I don't have a whole lot of time to record this. Um, we see how everyone's holding up. You know, they're like, oh, we're leaving. We see Captain Lance. Uh, Laurel mentions everyone's back. And I was like, this is what I wanted for so long. This is not exactly how I thought it was going to happen. But I said in another video, and I know this is a video, it did not get canceled, did not get deleted, did not get erased. It wasn't a script I was working on. Mm -mm, no, so I said this before. I figured Tommy, because I really like that character, right, you know. But I, I figured Tommy would come back because maybe Oliver's in Oliver's last moments. He would be talking to the monitor, and the monitor would be like, "As you wish." Um, and then, uh. You know, so, but that's not exactly how it happened. It still happened, but now Moira, everyone's back except Moira says, um, that Oliver, oh yeah, that's the other thing. Almost immediately after the Slade scene from the, 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 the deleted scene from the Blu-ray. Almost immediately after that deleted scene from the Blu-ray, um, we see Robert Queen, and I was like, so what happens here? Does Oliver, like, tackle him or something? Um, and no, it's the same scene. He, he dies. Nothing different. But they didn't, it wasn't like the one we saw during uh, Season 8, Episode 1, where it was a little altered. This is the original scene from Season 1. And so basically, uh, uh, Moira says at the funeral that perhaps 
he couldn't change anything that would change him. Which is kind of unfortunate, basically saying, oh, well, Moira's death didn't have a big impact on him. But, you know, I guess it had a, um, a minuscule enough impact. Uh, so, I should try to wrap this video up. Basically, at the end, we see Mia doing Mia things. And then, um, we get a few funny lines from Tommy. In Earth Prime, he, Oliver went and fixed everything for everybody. Like, well, everybody that he could. Um, I'm, I don't know where Laurel would have died. I'm guessing Oliver would have come back. Or I, I'm guessing things would be different. Laurel seems like she would have died at the same place, but this time she would be, they would be married maybe a month and a half before the show started. I don't know. Uh, I'm a bit confused because he's like, well, she was my wife 